Let's take a look at some calls of the day. Starting with Verizon, which is down 2.7% after the phone company was cut to underperform at Moffitt Nathanson over uh, by Craig Moffitt. He said the downgrade was because of T-Mobile and AT&T's increasingly competitive advantage. Really interesting note here. The price target is at $41. It was at $55 previously. And basically, Craig is talking about the dynamic in this industry where there's been a lot of promotional activity, a lot of discounting. He doesn't love AT&T either, by the way. He says they've ended up with a low-quality um, customer base and Verizon's approach to promotions has been kind of all over the map, he says. Their efforts have been met with limited success in terms of trying to resist promotioning. They've seesawed, he says, between periods of promotionality and financial restraint, optimizing neither. And then he highlights a T Mobile, which has a, what he says is a widening competitive advantage in 5G. Well, you don't need me here. I mean, that's great. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> no, but look, I, this comes after. We talked to at and CFO on the day of earnings. The stock really got hit. He told us that customers were delaying uh, uh, just how they were paying their bills. So that was a big red flag. Verizon, not a good quarter as well. Uh, T-Mobile still seen as the winner in this market. Now, what is to, yet to be determined is what does the new Apple iPhone do to this industry? Uh, that is obviously going to be a premium product. Is it enough of a form factor change to that will drive Better sales in the street is looking for uh, over at AT&T and Verizon. Unclear, but again, this is another bearish note, and we've seen a couple of them uh, on Verizon and definitely on AT&T. You know, I just did a word search for Apple in this note. Mm. It's not in there, so not it Apple. seems to me as he doesn't necessarily think it's going to mm. do any favors for Verizon. By the way, uh, Craig also cutting his price target on AT&T um, to $17, which is a little more than a buck below where it's trading right now.